This is one of those uh, events and those meetings where I want you to be on your phone. So uh, there's a lot of great companies right here. There, there's 10 great companies, in fact. And what I'd like you to do is obviously tweet, hashtag Dream at Philly, uh, Meerkat, which most of you have heard about, Snapchat, Vine, you name it. Please tell the world about these companies because we're all going to hear about it here today in person. But I want as many people outside this room to know what we're up to. Before I get into the companies, uh, real quick background on Dreamit. Uh, Dreamit was launched in 2008 by Steve Welch, Mike Levinson, and David Booksman. By the looks of this picture, it started off as a boy band project that uh, I guess you guys pivoted after that pretty quickly, uh, turned it into a startup accelerator. But since that time, they have, uh, or Dream Adventures has launched over 200 companies in every possible industry you could possibly think of. 200 is a pretty big number, so thank you guys. Great work in starting this. So how does it work? What we do is we bring companies from all around the world. We bring them to Austin, to Philadelphia, to New, to New York, to Tel Aviv, to Baltimore. Uh, this is Mind Snacks, which came to Philadelphia in 2010. And uh, a side note, this company under the name of Elevate was named the app of the year by Apple last year. So we bring them to a location. Uh, obviously, they work closely together. They also work in large groups. This is one of the most important things we have at Dream It. It's called a fishbowl. And a fishbowl is where companies get up on a weekly basis, talk about the issues they're facing, whether it could be you know, a, a name change, how to run a Twitter campaign, how to run social media, uh, issues with employees, etc. As much as possible, you're around brilliant, smart people. So it makes sense to get up and talk about that with those companies. Um, so we have a lot of fun, and uh, at least we try to have a, fun, a lot of fun this cycle, but unfortunately, literally every single day it was about 20 degrees in Philadelphia. Uh, we did try to take them to a Phillies game, but it was 32 degrees and raining. So this is obviously not in Philadelphia. This is from Dream at Austin. I could not find an outside picture from this current cycle, but we did try to have fun. So where are the companies now? Uh, SeatGeek is a Dream at Philly 2008 company, and this is one of the great uh, Dream at stories in that they came in with a completely different idea, and about 45 days in realized, oh shit, this isn't going to work. Uh, they shut it down, they sold it, transitioned over to SeatGeek, which is now the second largest secondary uh, marketplace for tickets and events, and have gone on to raise a fair amount of capital. You'll see they just raised, they just closed their Series C from uh, Technology Crossover Ventures not too long ago. Most of you have heard of Meerkat, uh, Dream in Austin 2013 company, um, and they came in with a very similar idea to what they have right now. Uh, first time out, didn't really work out so well. Second time out with our product launch, didn't work out. And the third time, they absolutely nailed it. They launched about three weeks before uh, South by Southwest, and today everybody from Al Roker to Madonna to my mom are using Meerkat. We're Meerkatting today right now. It's a live stream. Uh, hey, everybody. All right. Uh, and they just closed their round as well. So one of my favorite companies, uh, Dream It Philly 2011, Snip Snap. I remember meeting Ted Mann in the conference room at Dream It's, Dream it's uh, office hours, and I heard what he was up to, and I really loved it. And then, you know, when he actually, uh, when, the, when the app went live, it was one of the first apps that, not only did I download, because we, we download a lot of apps, it was one of the first ones that I actually used on a regular basis. My wife actually used it on a regular basis, uh, and Ted pushed that through to an exit pretty quickly. And what I love about uh, SnipSap and Ted is we created, I think, a, a great culture here at Dreamit. Ted has actually come back twice to be as a mentor to uh, current companies in Dreamit. So as the companies have evolved, so have we. Um, and we like to shake things up. We like to try new things. Last time, for those of you who were in the room, you remember we had a uh, demo day at World Cafe Live. And then at the end, I thought, you know what? What if we took these companies on a road? So we had our own alpha prototype that we ran. And we did a 24-hour road show to California. And the response from all those investors was, hey, you guys should do this again. So we decided to do that. And now we have our first ever Dreamit road show. So as Mayor Nutter alluded to, uh, Philly is the first shot, okay? Philly gets the first look at these companies. Tomorrow, they're going to New York. On Wednesday, they'll be in Boston. On Thursday and Friday, you'll be in San Francisco. Um, so today is that first shot for Philly investors. If you like a company, make a beeline for them, get in front of them, establish that relationship today. Uh, they will be back to Philadelphia uh, after the road show, but let's make a real point to, to get in front of these companies. So these are the, the firms that we're meeting with. Uh, so Andreessen Horowitz, Founder Collective, NextView, uh, the top of the line in terms of venture capital firms around the country for these companies. Since 2010, uh, we've had the Dream It Access program in place. 
and that is a focus on finding minority-led companies, and that is sponsored by Comcast and run by William Crowder. So I want to take a second to thank both William and Comcast. There it is. All right. And in the vein of shaking things up, you realize, you know, are, are there other places that we need to find entrepreneurs? And thanks to uh, Karen Griffith Griga and the PADCED, we launched the Dream It Athena program, which I believe is the first of its kind to focus on female led companies. And not only thanks to uh, Karen, but the PADCED, but these women here who took part in Dream It Athena, whether it was brown bag lunches, on site visits, uh, very specific programming talks. I want to thank the PADCED and these women for making Dream and Athena uh, a fantastic kickoff. So we, we, we shake things up, but we always have our core and we always have core uh, partners and sponsors. So whether it's free cloud services, amazing office space, or free legal, uh, and again, that's free legal. For those of you in the room who are running your own company, you know how valuable that is. Um, and so I want to take a second to thank both the law firms and the sponsors we've had over the, over the lifetime of Dream It, but also for this cycle. So um, not only obviously sponsors and partners, but having mentors. Uh, if you notice here, we have 10 companies and we have 15 mentors. What we try to do is we try to pair up uh, those in the Philly community, those sometimes in the New York community, sometimes those who are you know, nowhere near Philadelphia, but they have a skill set that we believe matches very well with these companies. And I, you know, I, I saw these mentors come into the office, I saw them do Skype calls, Google Hangouts, you name it. Um, so I want to take a second to thank these 15 mentors who work closely with these companies. And if you're in the room today and you want to get involved in Dream It, this is a great kind of entry place to get involved in Dream It, to work with these companies a few hours a week. So if you want to be a mentor, please let me know, Patrick at Dream Adventures, Melissa at Dream Adventures. Uh, get involved, it's a great way to get involved with, with Dream It. So I'm not going to thank myself on this slide, um, but I do want to thank the team that I work with. Uh, so Karen, William, and David sat in with me and the companies on partner meetings on a weekly basis, and they also took time out of their schedules to meet with the companies outside of those partner meetings. Uh, Paul and Melissa help run the day-to-day, -day, and we have an amazing team that I think uh, help these companies to where they are today. So I want to thank my team. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, what we like to do at Dreamin is we like to celebrate early wins. And for me, this is, this is super important. I love this time of life in a company. So whether it's the first customer, whether it's the first press event, whether it's the first installation, or whether it's the first billboard, um, this is that sweet spot. So I can see the company come in, hey, I got my first check, hey, I got my first com company. And for you as an investor, obviously, it's a sweet spot because you get to see that, that really energetic time of life for these companies as they're growing and building.